Hey guys, looks like I'm live here, uh, coming to you from the Evolution Center here in Pasadena, California. Feel free to ask me anything. Um, I just had a few announcements and I wanted to bring everybody up to speed because I've been uh, radio silent on YouTube for a couple weeks now. But first of all, had to do some remodeling. So, you know, got some things straightened up. There's America over there, did some uh, painting. Um, because I had to do pickups to add to my all new video of the Hogan Code. And, um, you know, it's been uh, half my swing evolution ago when I came out with the first Hogan Code. And in that time, I've become a teacher and taught, you know, over a hundred students, couple hundred students. And uh, I've learned a lot about passing the Hogan swing along to other people. So I wanted to update the Hogan Code. Uh, very excited about that. That should be out in the next couple of days. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted to produce. I'm a TV producer. I wanted to produce the best golf instructional video out there. Um, it's informative. It's entertaining. It's the best I can do. It's got special guest appearances from some of the most famous golfers in the world. So I hope you guys will check it out. I think it's unique in the world of golf instruction. Um, so in addition to that, you know, I'm getting ready. I finally have my simulator. You know, it's been six months I've been here at the, at the Evolution Center. Um, I've got a nice little swing caddy monitor I've been using to, to work on my short game and wedges. Uh, but the full simulator where I'm going to be able to play golf in here uh, should be arriving this week. <laughs> there's a little Bruce Lee in there, JP. Yeah, there's going to be some, some uh, pretty silly stuff. Um, I've, I use martial arts, boxing, baseball, uh, all these things to help explain the golf swing, which I think are really, really uh, helpful. Um, because, you know, we play other sports, and, you know, I was a pretty good athlete, but, you know, when I couldn't hit a golf ball, my gosh, and you know what's the craziest thing? I think the reason why I wanted to make this Hogan Code so much um, was because I played some really good golf five years ago. <laughs> Groucho. Uh, I played some really good golf five years ago, but I would still go off the rails, you know. I think that I'm better. Hey, Jean-Baptiste, nice to, nice to hear from you. I, I, when, when things go wrong, I can fix it quicker. Um, and I think it's more obvious to me about, you know, what has to happen in the swing. You know, what, what are the most important things to focus on? And it has a lot to do with tilts and angles and, um, and what pulls you out of those angles. If we don't use our arms correctly, we're going to early extend, you know. Um, early extension, one of the things I've traced it back to is uh, it has to do with, with flexibility. Um, you're going to see guys who, who have more lateral side bend are going to clear their hips better. Um, you know, I use, I use a lot of different uh, demonstrations. Um, <laughs> hey, Matthew, how are you? Nice to hear from you. Uh, I use a lot of different things to illustrate the swing, and uh, it, just, it just makes things kind of like... One thing I believe is you have to understand what you're trying to do and what your problem may be. So I do a, a section on swing diagnosis in the new Hogan Code. So if you can diagnose what's troubling you, you're going to have a, a lot easier time fixing it. The problem is so many people, I mean, you can see that you early extend, but do you know why you early extend? That's, that's part of these things that I'm talking about that are, that are so important and I think revolutionary that uh, is going to really help golfers all around the world. I've got some really exciting partnerships coming up with uh, big golf companies. I'm really excited about that. Um, got a lot of teaching. I'm hoping that this year we're going to be able to open back up so I can do more in-person teaching and travel as well. And uh, But, you know, more than anything else, I want you guys to, to be aware that there is an all-new Hogan Code video coming out. It's not going to be very expensive. I want people to have this information. And I want it to be something that will stand the test of time among the, the greatest golf instructional pieces ever. And uh, 
and the one thing I want to say is you don't have to just take it from me. You know, the people that are in this video are some of the most established people in the history of the game of golf. So um, these conversations I've got to, I've had the opportunity to have with these Hall of Famers and stuff. It's, and we're just getting started. Uh, I'm going to be expanding the Hogan work. Uh, I want to create um, a member site because, for example, when I made my documentary, Mr. Hogan, um, you know, my interview with Jack Nicholas is probably, you know, I'd say something like seven minutes long in the video. But when you sit down with somebody for a half an hour or so, you know, you hate to have to cut that material out. And, uh, hey, Tommy, how you doing? Um, for example, I want to do Mr. Hogan now as an episodic series, kind of like a TV show. Um, so we're going to have the full length interviews on my member site, you know, with Jack Nicholas, Chi Chi Rodriguez, Chris Cheddar, Jody Vasquez, Marty Leonard. I've got several more lined up for this year. My interview with Gary Player is about an hour and a half long. So if I don't want to chop that down to, to five or 10 minutes. But I will be putting a, a great version of it up on YouTube uh, probably in the next week or so to help to announce the opening of the new Hogan Code. Um, that's going to be really, really wonderful. We'll get to check in with Gary Player. Um, God bless you, Mr. Player, and your wife. I know you guys are going through a difficult time, and I'm so honored that you uh, invited me in. I want to get in touch with Lee Trevino, JP. Yeah, I really, that's, that's the, the next top of the line interview that I want to get is with Lee Trevino. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach out to him. I haven't gotten through with him yet. Yeah, I, Mark, I'm telling you, Gary Player, what can you say? You know, 18 majors when you count as nine Champions Tour majors. The guy is just a winner. He's such a winner, and, and that's the thing that you realize when you meet these guys is, you know, I'll tell you a quick story about Gary Player. It's 1965. He's at the U.S. Open. It's the last tournament he has to win to complete the career Grand Slam. We're talking in 65. Gary Player was the man, the man, and he said he was in a, a church at midnight the night before the final round doing this. You will concentrate. You will keep your head down. You will not look up from your butts. And he's like doing this. Like these guys, it means so much to them. Like we may think that, you know, a little bet on the golf course means something. But when you meet guys like Jack Nicklaus and Gary Player, they, they know. They, they are in it to win it. And you better bring some serious game to the golf course to beat those guys. But what my goal is is to help average golfers understand that you can play really good golf. I, it's my estimation. I would say 80 to 90% of golfers don't really get to play the real game of golf because there's too much luck involved. And if you can conquer some basics and fundamentals in the golf swing, then you can start to really play the game with strategy. That's the divining line. I think that if you can shoot in the 70s, you can play with strategy. And that's what I'm trying to do in the, the world of golf is, is help the average player get a good enough technique under their belt that they can begin to play with strategy instead of luck. So this year, you're gonna see me working my butt off. I've got, I've got all the toys now to begin working on. These are the things I'm gonna focus on. Short putts and lag putts, wedges and driving. There is no reason why I shouldn't be able to, to get better by those simple things. You know, if you can hit a short putt and a lag putt, you're pretty solid. And, and I have the most room to, to improve probably from 50 to 100 yards, uh, maybe even 110 yards, because, you know, I'm, I'm as close with a full wedge as I am with a 60 yarder, you know, I don't feel like I'm, I feel any advantage being 50 or 60 yards. Um, and that's got to change. So that's what these launch monitors are going to help me do. They're going to help me understand my trajectory, my, my spin numbers and, 
already the fooling around that I'm doing right now, it's just amazing. Um, when you see the guys like Dustin Johnson, there's a great video with Dustin Johnson hitting wedges where he knows, he's like, oh, that one's like 72, that one's 68. Like he knows coming off the face. Me, I have no idea. But that's the next part of my swing evolution. Guys, hey, Mark, uh, love to see your stretching program for hips and back. Oh my gosh, America put me through a great yoga class this morning, my hips and back. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I, you know, I'm not very flexible right now. I've lost all the range of motion I had, but I hope you'll follow along with MSE Fitness. That's another thing I'm going to be focusing on this year because I'm going to get it all back. Um, now that I'm finished with the Hogan Code, I'm ready to really focus on my own body, my own game. I'm going to be sharing what it is I'm working on. I hope you guys will follow along, and I'm going to be bringing you some of the greatest golf stories from the, the best golfers and, and most important people in the business that you're ever going to meet. This year is going to be a great year. I love you all. I hope you're all healthy and happy. And I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Cheers.